ladies and gentlemen i'm here with another back testing session so let's go let's back test together let's see how we're going to perform if this is the first time you're joining us in this particular episode we usually back test our strategy using the forex tester five right here so this time around let's go and uh, name our our project fxx and then we are going to use uh the account size of fifty thousand dollars right here and then we'll just do this and then we're going to back test euro i mean aud usd right here so let's go ahead and click that and then uh yeah so we'll start from uh 2018 let's create this right here so let's generate the information right here so let's just let price give us some, something to work with and uh yeah all right and if this is, this is the first time what we usually do here is that we will take our setups every time they appear up and then uh yeah we're going to be risking 0.5 percent of our account on all trades and then uh as the market is going in our direction we move our stop loss to break even once the market goes at least one to two hour or when it breaks the recent higher low or lower high of that particular trade and that's how we're going to be managing our trades so we're going to take all setups that's going to meet our criteria and then we are going to record all the information it's going to actually be recorded automatically right here then after taking some few trades then we'll actually uh evaluate our our statistics right here so let's give time for price to play out so that we can have we can see some opportunities right here okay so let's just play price right here all right and then also for you guys who, who are watching this video right here you get 40 percent uh discount when you purchase this particular software using the link down below and using the discount code right here on the screen so make sure you use that to get 40 percent off on your purchase right there all right so this is uh forex tester 5 it's a, one of the best uh back testing software tools right there which gives you a lot of data as you can see apart from you having these statistics right here you can actually go back as far as 2000 you can actually see your strategy work in real time right you can use uh it has a lot of things right here it has all these uh indicators right here can, it has a lot of these tools right here to, that can actually help you uh take trades and everything so let's just start right now without wasting much of your time okay so from here you can clearly see that what we have is uh is a downtrend we have a significant downtrend to the downside right here so in this case we are looking for selling opportunities right so that's how it is so from here already i can see some levels where i would like to actually trade from so to start off this is the level i'm looking for right now and then also you can see that price had broken structure to the downside right here so uh, if price comes to this level right here i will be willing to take this trade risk is 0.5 percent and potentially targeting these laws right here so let's play price let's play price right here let's see how the price is going to move okay always respecting our risk management because that's the only thing that can, can tend to help us stay in the game for the longest right so it's important for you to observe risk every time all right so it's that important so let's play price so this right here you can actually use this to speed up price so that uh, you can have opportunity you can see opportunities faster so that we don't uh, end up wasting a lot of time without actually taking any trades right here so it's one of the best back testing software tools out there one of the base it's actually better than uh uh, using uh, uh, trading view for for back testing because it has a lot of limitations this one around this one is good so check it out use the link down in the description to actually purchase this software for yourself when you buy it just once you have it for the low you don't have to subscribe on a monthly basis just once then you have the license for the lifetime you can do this anytime all right so i'm seeing another level right here so let's try to go ahead and mark that up right here so i'm looking at this right here as a level you can see this is a rather best drop right there and then uh, we can see that there's also break of structure to the downside right here so let's watch price let's go to the five minutes yeah that's a good level right there so let's continue to watch price and then uh, we wait for price to come to us remember never chase price let the market come to you don't chase the market you let the market come to you and that's how we do it all right so you can see that the, the, the trend has been to the downside therefore we are looking for selling opportunities never fight the major trend always trade in the direction of the trend because that's a that's a path of least resistance right there so market is coming close to our zone right there so let's see if it can tap into our area if it taps into our zone then we'll be willing to actually uh, jump in right so when price is approaching my level what i like to do is i like to use this tool right here buffer one too so that i see how the market is, uh, is approaching my level right 
it's important so it's almost in my area right here you can see that that's a very very uh nice tap into our zone right there that's a very nice tap into our zone okay so let's go to the one minute time frame let's see what is happening right there you can see that we had a very very nice tap into our zone and then the market yeah the market literally just came into our zone right there and then if you just play bar once you can see that's a nice rejection right there. that's a very very good rejection right there so for me that's a trigger for a sell that's a trigger for a sell right there so let's play right like that that's a that's a trigger for a sell right here so I'm, i'll be willing to actually enter this particular trade from that level right there okay so that's 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 an entry signal for me to actually enter this trade so my stop loss is going to be above there and my target is going to be below here so let's place here as I've said, I'm going to be risking 0.5% of the account. And then, uh, yeah. So what you do here is you come here. Then you put your stop loss just above there. And then my target is going to be just here. Risking 0.5%. So let's enter and uh, let's see how price is going to move from here. So that's our first trade for the day. For our session. That's the first trade for our session. Let's see how it plays out. Is it going to go in our direction or not? So let's see how it's going to go. So in terms of moving my stop loss, I'm looking at this level right here. So if price can uh, break this low here, I'll be willing to move my stop loss to break even. Uh, always remember that don't move your stop loss too early because if you move your stop loss too early, the market is always, it's always going to take you out and then the market can continue to go in a direction. So wait for structure to be broken to confirm that the market is now going in that particular direction. All right, so let's see how this one's going to play out. Price is now back into the zone. And then, yeah, it is just normal. The market won't just go direct to your take profit. Always remember that. So that's a loss for the day. So you can see that the market was in profit for a little bit, but it ended up going against us. So that's a loss for the day. That's the first loss right here. It's okay taking a loss as long as you are following your strategy. It's very, very important. Okay, so let's play price. Let's see how it is. If uh, the market is going to continue to go in our direction or not. Okay, so what you just seen here is that the market just took out the highest high right here, and then we've seen the market reversing right here. So for me, according to my rules, I always enter when the market does this. I think we had this happening. Uh, this happens m m very commonly, actually. Actually, if you watched my recent video on AUD NZD, we saw the market just taking out the high, and then we've seen the market uh trying to drop right there so for me that's that's a good sign that's a sign that the market wants to go to the downside so for me this is still a valid setup to sell from and i'm going to enter this particular trade so my stop loss is going to be on the high right here. remember the meta the meta trend is, to the, is still to the downside so we're going to still risk 0.5 percent and then we'll sell so let's go and see how this market is going to move from here so the market doesn't move in a straight line and you are going to expect such things to happen and guess what you never know what's going to happen on a trade by trade basis so our job is simply to take all trade setups that meet our criteria and always okay that's uh this was uh bad you can see that how the market tricked us here uh after that rejection right there the market looked as though it was going to continue to go to the downside however you see what happened the market continued to push to the upside and we we're taken out so two losses in a row right here so now the setup has been invalidated completely and we cannot enter right here so our next level is that level right there so two losses uh in a row which is absolutely normal so right here we go ahead and remove this and then we, we, we wait for this the market to come to this level right there so that's our next level to trade from and if the market comes there we'll be able to execute that trade right there okay so we continue to watch price closely okay uh, i'm looking at this is 2018 uh april this is the time i'm back testing right now so let's watch how the market is going to react from this level right here all right so this is how it is let's watch continue to watch price let's let price push okay close to our price to our level right there not really really there so let's see if it can push all the way to that level right there let's continue to watch price let's continue to watch the price uh move right there okay almost in our area what's going to happen is the market going to respond to our level or will be uh will be left out or will be, the setup is going to be invalidated me you and i have no idea what's going to happen so we just have to wait for price to come into our area then we execute our strategy so price is in our zone right there what i like to do here is i like to use this tool right there so one 
then you see that the market is almost reacting there to the market still you can see there's that's a, some good rejection right there but not convincing enough so let's see right there okay not convincing enough still not giving us that that good good rejection right there remember you before you entering the trade you have to wait for that proper in that proper rejection right there you can see if we just entered right here you'd have just been faked out and you see the market going to the upside so you can prevent a lot of losses by just being patient and waiting for the signal you can see we avoided all that by just simply being patient and really waiting for the price to actually uh give you that right confirmation right there so you can see that the market just took out that this high right here and then we are seeing the market trying to reverse right there so simply by being patient you'd have, you'd have avoided this loss right here because this market didn't really quite come into our zone therefore we can avoid these losses just by being patient and uh, really waiting for the for the right confirmation so the other level i'm looking at right now is this level right here that's a good level that, that, that i'll be willing to sell from if the market comes you can see also here the market has uh given us that break of structure to the downside and now would we'll wait for price to come into this zone right here so let's try and refine our area right there so let's see if we can refine our other block so we still have this as our other block right there so let's see how the market is going to respond from this level right here let's see how the market is going to respond to this level right here let's let's play price let's play price to the upside okay hold up hold up hold up hold up hold up so you see what is happening here so we see price pushing and then we see the market pushing like that so let's see if there was news there was news here so we can see that there was actually a news event which happened here so we had some news right here so what you can do is you can go to the lower time frame and uh we can see that the market just came into this area right here and just reacted massively with big momentum candles right there right you see that big candle right there yeah so that that that's my that's my rejection into that zone right here. you can see that that's the level we're looking at to sell from so for me that's a valid 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 entry signal to actually sell right there even though price has moved a little bit uh, uh a little bit uh, from where the level was but we have no option so we can still enter rate this level right here stop loss being above there and my uh, target being just below here so the key is to have small small losses and big winners again risk is 0.5 percent and then let's play price that's the key make sure you your, your, your risk is small and your rewards are big that's the only way to actually become consistently profitable so it seems there was actually a news event here that caused that big spike right there so let's probably let's see how this is going to go to move right there so we're down two and this is our third trade let's see how uh this is going to play out right here so we are down uh by two pairs i mean like one percent because we're risking zero point five percent per trade okay so let's see how this one is going to play out So let, let's increase the speed a little bit so that we can uh, take some more setups right there. So price seems to be going against us, but still being rejected from this level right there. Okay, that's a beautiful push to the downside. So let's see if we can have that momentum increasing going to the downside. That'd be cool. You see, it's really just like the market. Like it's it's, it's exactly the, the market, real price action and everything. So this seems to be a loss let's see let's see wow that's another loss right there three losses in a row bad right but it's all normal you can see beautiful beautiful trade setups right here failing to hold and that is going to happen you're going to experience this this is absolutely normal so we can see that now the market is potentially changing direction from the downtrend to an uptrend so We've tried this one here felt the other one the other level failed meaning the market is potentially changing the direction of the market so we don't we, we stop shorting right here because we've seen the market breaking structure to the upside so we will change most likely price has changed direction so this level here has failed so three levels have failed so levels i'll be looking to, to buy from now is levels like this these are levels which are left behind by the market these levels like this and then also another level is this level below here so, so these are very significant levels to look forward to selling right so these are the levels i'll be watching so let me go drop to the lower time frame yeah so this level right here and 
this level right here. Very important. You need to be able to back to be you need to be to be back testing your strategy so that you see how it would have worked out in real real time. Okay, very very important. So you can, right here we are risking 0.5 percent and uh, our risk to reward ratio is always more than one to five so i know that even if i have th three losses in a row i can recover all that just by taking one good winning trade and i don't have to stress about that so you can see price is near our zone so let's wait and see if the market is going to tap into our zone almost tapping into our zone right there that's almost tapping our zone okay so let's see so this is our zone right here Let's now try and uh, use this tool right here. One, two, three. Price has tapped into our zone. Price has tapped into our zone right here. Okay. Let's see if it can, it can give me some good confirmation. Okay. Let's see how the market is going to react from that. And you can avoid losses. So if you took a, a trade from here, you'd have, you'd have been taken out right here. You want to see the market really coming into your zone, right? You want to see the market uh, coming, not this one. You want to see the market really, really, really coming into your zone like that, at least in the middle of the zone. And then when the market starts to, re to react like that, then you can actually enter. Don't try and uh, jump in. Okay. So you see what happened here? The market just took out this low and we're seeing the market trying to push the upside. So right here, this that's like the first one. If the market doesn't continue to go to the downside, this setup is going to be valid. But right now we're seeing the market trying to push the downside. And uh, yeah. Okay. You can see. The market just wanted to take out this low here. That's what the market was trying to do here. The market just took out this low, meaning this setup is still a very, very, very valid setup. The market just took out, just hunted the lows right here. And then the market is now trying to push the upside. Okay, so let's play one, two. So that's a good one right there. We can actually jump in on this particular trade, targeting that high right there. So let's buy. We are just following price. So our stop loss is going to be below here. And my target is going to be above there. As simple as that. So we are going to buy. Buy from there. Remember all these were predetermined areas that we are looking to buy from. So let's see. So wait, this is more than one to one to five, one to three, I think. So let's see how the price would have moved right here. Always predefine the risk and know exactly where your setup is going to be invalidated. It's very, very important. You can see, and this is going to happen right here. This is going to happen. This is very common. The market can just take out the low and then the market just, that's what you call, this is a sell, sell side liquidity. Just the market takes out the sell side liquidity and then pushes the outside. So if you know how your setup works, right? You know that, okay, I, I know that the market just took out this low right here and it's still in the zone. You can just take the trade. Take that trade. Don't let that beautiful uh, winning trade turn, uh, turn turn into a losing trade when you know that the market had actually uh, met all your criteria. So you can see the market actually took out this high right here. So meaning I can move my stop loss to break even. So my stop loss can now move to break even. So meaning on this trade, I'm not going to lose anything if the market comes back to my entry level right there. So this is my target right there. And let's see how the market is going to actually move right there. Are we going to go to take profit or we are going to go break even? It's all up to the market. We have no control over that. Yeah, so that's how it is. Okay, seems the market is now pushing to the upside. Okay, the retracement again. So let's wait to see what's going to happen here. okay that's a break even trade right there so we saw the market trying to push the upside it failed to reach that level right there however we saw the market now pushing all the way to the entry level and we're taken out for a break even trade which is the right thing to do don't try and uh, do anything silly by trying to move your stop loss too early or by trying to uh get some profit because you see the market reacting do what your system says you should do all right so the market pushed to the, to, the, to the upside a little bit, but now we saw the market now turning back right here, which is okay. So now let's try. So the next level I'm looking at now is this level right here. So let's try and play price. Let's see how it's going to react right there. 
So have rules. Have rules that you're going to follow that are going to guide you when to take profit, when to move your stop loss to break even. That is very, very important. So you see the market is back into this area. And this area is valid because this broke structure to the, to the upside right there. So it's a valid setup. So let's see how it's going to react from this level right here. As always, I want to see how price is going to react. So you see, so if you go to the lower time frame, you can wait for the right that confirmation. Let's play black. You can see now the market touched into that area right there. And then we see the market now trying to go to the upside after reacting from this level right here. So that's a valid uh, buy setup right here. Again, we're going to take that low. Stop loss just below structure. Let's go. So stop loss below here. Target above here. So let's target this uh, high right there. Yeah, so this is this can be the first target and another target can be right there. As the market uh, progresses, we can still move our stop loss up right there. So let's play price right here. Let's go. Let's see what's going to happen here. Okay, that was interesting. Did you see what happened? That was really, really interesting. Yeah. So again, we we'll only move our stop loss when price breaks this high right there. We'll be able to move our stop loss to break even. And that's how we do it. So we can see that the market in hand has the broken structure right here to the upside. And that's good enough for us to move our stop loss to break even. So that on this trade, we're not going to lose nothing. Okay. We, we let price move now. Okay, price approaching our take profit. And then we're just going to observe price and see how it's going to move right there. So another retracement. Are we going to go break even again? Looks like it. Wow, another break even trade. Wow. So two break even trades, three losses, two break even trades. So this is going to happen. This is real, real time data, guys. This is going to happen. So take time and really backtest your strategy. See how your strategy would have worked out. Again, we have this level right here. So right now, we are looking for buying opportunities. Okay, so we are on the five minute time frame. Let's go to the one minute time frame. We still have market breaking structure right here. Yeah, so this is our zone right here. So this is our last candle that broke structure. So meaning this is our order block right there. Okay, and we already have am seeing price reacting from this level. We broke structure. And then let's see how the market is going to respond to that level. Uh, again, I like that move right there. You can see that's a nice. Uh, this is what you call a morning star. We got the bearish candle bullet, and then we have got an, an indecision candle. And then we have that big candle that opens to the upside. So we can take this trade right here. You remember, first target is going to be this level here. Then the second target is going to be the one on top right there. So we open a buy, and then uh, we uh, take profit. Is going to be the final take profit is there, and then our stop loss is going to be just below here. Simple stuff, guys. Follow your strategy. Execute. Keep on executing regardless of the outcome. Keep on executing your strategy because you know that if you execute your strategy, you are going to be profitable as long as you are following everything that your strategy tells you to do. Very, very important stuff right there. Okay. So that's a loss. The market didn't quite do what we thought it was going to do. So this level didn't hold. Then we've seen the market now pushing to the downside right there. Interesting stuff. Really, really interesting. So uh, this is what would have happened if we are trading live right here. And trust me, this happens more than you know. So it seems that this level didn't hold. We move our, we, we push to the to to this level right here, meaning the next level that we're going to, to look for our buying opportunities this level right here. So we wait for price to push into that area. Like I always tell you guys, on a trade by trade basis, you have no control over what's going to happen. Like you have no idea what's going to happen. So your job is only to execute all setups that meet our, your criteria. Just keep taking trades that meet your criteria. And that's the only way to actually know if they're going to be profitable. So let's speed, speed up price right here. So that we see if the market would have come to this zone right there. So price didn't pull down, didn't, didn't uh, like come to this level right here. And that's how it seems. Yeah. 
you see what happened the market didn't quite come to this level and we saw the market really push into the upside and would have missed out on this particular trade but we were right about the direction of the market and uh yeah that's the thing you can be right about the direction of the market but on a trade by on that particular trade you can be wrong so the next level i'm looking at is this zone here let's go to the peak next time so this is the zone i'm looking to uh, to buy from again you can see that market had broken this high right there so if the market comes into my zone i'll be more than willing to buy from here so let's see how the market uh moved from there let's see how the market responded to that level right there so this gives you real time data like like everything that would have happened on a particular trade you see everything okay so i like what how the market is reacting to that level right there okay very interesting so for, because of this we can refine our entry even like this like getting that real real uh, last bar right there okay and this felt to work out very very normal you can see that the market just went through that like nothing okay and you can see that right here there was nothing there there was not no confirmation for entries right there so this has felt to work out despite it being a really nice zone but it felt to work out and that's very normal okay so let's continue to see how the market is going to respond to these levels right there so the other level i'm looking at is um uh, yeah this level right here so let's see if it can the market is going to come to this level right there yeah the market was really really chopping around here not giving us not responding to any of these uh really good levels that we had marked out and you can expect that uh in real time data like this is going to happen so it's about acceptance and just being able to execute our strategy flawlessly and that's the only thing that's going to keep you in the game that's the so let's see how this market is going to respond from the, if it's going to come to this level then let's see how it it would have responded to our level right there so let's continue to watch price and remember you can use any strategy right here there are a lot of indicators there if you use indicators so let's uh make sure you actually use the link down in the description and get yourself this tool it's really an important tool to have in your arsenal because you can back test at any particular time you can uh, go back in time and actually see how your setups would have worked out on that particular time and uh this gives you confidence and, uh, and you can actually use this to actually see how your setup would have played out right so it, it's uh, it's important for you to do that it's very very important for you to do that okay so let's uh zoom out let's zoom out right here you can see the price was just stopping around here just stopping around right here so um yeah my idea for buys was right so right now i'm not really seeing any other setups right here let's play price let's see how this is going to continue so um, right now we're only looking for buying opportunities again we start looking for levels to buy from so this level for me looks like a good area to buy from uh yeah looks like a very good area to buy from so we have a drop base rally and then we see market breaking structure to the to the, to the upside right there solid setup we wait for price to pull back into this zone if it does then we'll be willing to get involved right We'll be willing to get involved if by the market came into that area right there all right so this system uh classifies break-even trades as winning trades so don't be surprised if you see uh those break-even trades being counted as uh winning trades right here and that's how the system is uh designed so let's continue to watch price let's continue to watch price so far we've not had any good winning trade i've uh, had i think four losing trades and uh two break-even trades and uh so far that's how that's how it is so let's see if price is going to react from our zone right here so the market is in our zone and we are seeing the market being rejected from that level right let's push price one bar and another bar so that we see how the market is going to react from this level right here yeah so let's play bar bar forward bar forward okay that looks good for me you can see that the market is seems to be going to the upside now so that's a confirmation for me to actually uh, get involved right you can see that that's a nice uh rejection right there and you see the big bullish momentum that uh piling up to the upside so we could go ahead and uh, actually uh buy from here you can see that all my setups are let's say i'm looking for one thing right and if that, that, that's there i'm going to buy i'm going to get involved so right here we buy from here let's see how this market is going to do 
and remember the rules when when to move the stop loss we know all that so right now we just play price and see how it's going to actually react from this level right here oh always remember to wait for all the right confirmations and then just keep on executing keep on executing like a robot of course especially when you have those losses in a row you are going to be emotional and that's always i'm, I'm always talking about being able to handle losses make sure you are constantly working on your emotions because losses in a row like this they are going to trigger you and you can end up doing uh really bad things so you can see that that's a loss the market reacted nicely from our zone and then we saw the market just pushing a bit and then we saw the market dropping to the, to the downside right there and guess what this is going to happen trust me this is going to happen so that zone has failed okay that's the fifth loss right there so so far we are counting about four five losses and two break-even trades we are yet to have a winning trade and guess what that's absolutely normal you can expect such right but the beauty thing about our strategy is that all these losses can just be covered up by one winning trade you see that's one winning trade that's going to go in our direction all those losses are going to be covered and that's the power of having a strategy with good uh, risk reward ratio so you can see that also this level right here had broken structure so we wait for price to push into this zone right here let's see on the five minutes time frame yeah looks good right here if it comes to our level right like that we'll be able to uh, get involved so make sure you have an age you have to make sure that you have an age right so that you are able to constantly yeah you are supposed to be comfortable taking these losses so that when that winning trade comes you'll be able to take it you you, you can't uh, pick and choose which you have to pick to i mean to take right because on a trade by trade basis anything can happen and you can't avoid taking a trade because you've lost three or four losses in a row that's going to happen so you you are obligated to take all setups that meet your criteria you are obligated to do that okay so take all those setups that meet your criteria because you don't know which one is going to work out you have no idea which one is going to work out so take all setups that meet your criteria that's how it's supposed to be done so remember we're waiting for price to push into this zone you're not supposed to have formal don't have formal don't just place trades mindlessly wait for all the right confirmations don't just try to buy when you see the market going to the upside or sell when the market is going down wait for structure to be uh, broken wait for all the right confirmations don't have formal don't have formal okay yeah so right now we're waiting for the market to push into this zone right here the price comes in now into our zone we'll be able to actually take this trade after waiting for the right confirmations uh, i like what is happening right i like the market structure that is actually being printed right here what we have here is uh a con uh it's what we call a compression the market is compressing right the trust is going to come out from here it's going to be a big 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 move either to the downside or to the upside so right now we just have to wait for price either to come into our zone or leave uh or leave us behind like yeah and i know what happens most of the times after this con 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 uh, compression right here we usually see big push either to the upside or to the downside and this is what you call a falling wage so whenever you have a falling wage the market usually uh impulses with big momentum candles so let's watch it i hope it can just come back into this zone so that we can actually take advantage of this but i'm i'm i'm, I'm sure there's going to be a big move right here somewhere there's going to be a really really big big impulsive move and it'll, it'll be like you see we see we, did you see what i just told you that this is what i was talking about when the market does this most of the time you will see big momentum candles right here and you can see that the market is in our zone right here so let's see if it, the market is going to hold or not so let's uh, do this play price and you can see that the market have just taken us out right there but let's do this let's continue to play price and you can see that down the market is now reacting so it just took out this low and now we've seen the market trying to go to the upside right there so that's a good setup for me to actually get in right here so remember stop loss just below so right here we're going to use the stop loss just below the structure and uh so stop loss below here and our target is going to be just above right there so like that to we'll buy from there still risk is 0.5 percent by the way so let's see how this is going to play out now let's play price let's see how this is going to play out 
let's go so we've seen the market compressing compressing and then pushing down to the downside like taking out these lows right here and now the market seems to be wanting to go to the upside let's see if it's going to go to the upside right here and the move stop loss when structure is broken so for for, for now we're waiting for price to take out this high right here this is what we're waiting for if it if it does that then we'll be able to move our stop loss to break even so that we can uh, make this trade risk free for now we just want to watch price and uh, let's see what's going to happen so since price price seems to be uh wanting to push the upside and you can see that the market has just taken out that high and let's see if it can continue to go to the upside if it does then i'll be able to move my stop loss to break even for now it seems to be struggling to uh to actually uh break that level right there okay that's uh yeah i wanted yeah that's that's good for me that's good for me so let's go ahead and move our stop loss to break even right there and let's continue to, to, to play price here let's see if it's going to actually uh continue to go up or it will be a break even again so let's watch price unfortunately it looks like a break even trade again That's another break even rate. Wow, we've had a lot of break even. So this is the third break even trade. I think we've taken eight trades so far. Three were break even and five losses right there. So it's an issue of uh, making sure that you are doing the right thing. And uh, we are trying by all means to actually stay put and uh, wait for the right things before we can actually do anything. So we've seen the, we, we, all these three trades would have been losses if we didn't move our stop loss to break even. So have rules and make sure you're following them so that you are consistent in everything that you're doing. So the market seems to be going back uh back right here so let's see how the market is going to react from these levels right there let's continue to play price let's continue to play price let's see how the market is going to react from this zone right here so you can see that this is uh this is the low where we're looking at right here so let's play price as you can see losses are unpredictable and there's no way for us to know in advance what's going to happen absolutely no way to know and even perfect setups you see them fail even the best setups out there they will fail so your job is not to try and predict which one is going to be a winner your job is to make sure that you are taking the right setups every time regardless of the outcome of the previous trade you are obligated to take all setups that meet your criteria. It's that important. So make sure that you are doing that every time. So the market has gone without us. Yeah, the market has just gone without us. We are left behind right there. So yeah, it's normal. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So I like the presentation that's coming that the market is printing out right here. We've seen that we are seeing these equal laws right here. Then we have seen the break of structure to the upside. So let's see if this going to, if the market can come into our zone. As you can see, this is really a good tool. So use this use this strategy to actually to test your strategy. See how your strategy would have performed, would have performed right? Have the data so that you can see how your strategy would have performed. Okay. So if you've noticed. We've seen that now the market seems like the market wants to go to the downside. You can see that the structure here is shifting to the downside. So let's see what's going to happen here. Okay. So uh, another interesting level I'm looking at is this zone, is this zone right there. So this is a really interesting area. So let's go to the lower time frame. Let's see how this is what is happening here. So if the market can come into this zone, uh, I'll be willing to actually take sales right here. So let's see how this is going to actually react. Of course we'll be targeting these laws right here so let's see how this one reacts 
yeah so you should be able to expect losing streaks losing streaks are going to happen you can see that there's no way you'd have, have predicted that this was going to happen no way so it's just a matter of you being consistent in executing these uh, these setups every time they appear because you, are, you don't know which one's going to work out and you know that even after taking those losses right uh, about five losses when just when one trade actually goes uh in your direction you'll be able to actually make all that money back so why why stress about having that loss so you can see that the market tapped into our zone right there that's a good tap into our zone right there so let's see how this is going to react from here okay so let's play back price so that's a nice tap right there yeah so let's play price Yeah, I, I didn't like how this was just too brief. Like I've, like I've showed you in the previous setup, I wanted to see the market really coming into my zone nicely. Not this, the market was just scared of coming into this area right here. You want to see price uh, give you that good, good entry into the into the trade, into the zone right there. You see, the market still came back right there. So that's what I, why I, I always try to avoid. Because uh, there are really specific areas where the market has to come to. And those for it, you see, the market has now pushed it back so if you entered from here due to FOMO you would have been in the drawdown already so don't try and chase price wait for price to actually give you you see now what is happening so for me this is a nice area to enter from because the market is in the zone right there so we can go ahead and place this sell here so stop loss just above there and my target is going to be just below so my target is uh below here so we'll sell here uh let's see where well, my target is remember i was targeting this low here so wait for all the right confirmations and then execute okay so don't try and chase price wait for price to actually to tell you where it wants to go okay so i avoided this level right here but now you see the market pushed back into the zone and we are seeing the market now trying to push to the downside and this can be a good nice winning trade because the risk reward ratio on this trade is really really big and this can just prove to you that you don't win you don't really need to win all trades you just need to have that nice winning trade look at that now that's amazing that is absolutely amazing you can see that the market has now broken down a lot of levels right here this level has been broken and then this level has been broken you see that's the beauty of you being patient and be waiting for your for your price to actually come to your level so now we can move our stop loss to break even that's a nice zone right here and that's a very nice push to the downside right there and uh yeah this is a nice move right there wow did you just see that did you see that this is amazing and i'm glad this happened right because this is supposed to show you how many how many times you can be wrong five times in a row and just get that one big trade that gives you all that money back and clears all the losses but the key for you to be able to actually get this kind of a trade you have to take all those setups that meet your criteria that's that's the thing you have to you're obligated to take all those trades that meet your criteria but people give up just after taking five losses in a row they give up already because they think this trade that doesn't work your strategy doesn't work in terms of of trade by trade basis it works in terms of a larger sample size and like i've proven to you already this is how it is you can take a lot of losses in a row but that one winning trade that you're going to take is going to actually cover up all those losses so when news events like this usually you, you keep moving your stop loss behind structure like that because the market can just pull back all the way and actually take you out with nothing so you have to make sure that you are you're trading your stop loss as the market is uh, moving in a direction because news events like this will cause you to actually uh, uh lose all the profits so keep on trading your stop loss and you can see this is a massive trade this is a really really big trade right here because it's able to cover all those uh losses right here so our take profit is just below here so let's see if the market would have reached our zone or it's going to take us to take us out right there and this was a really really beautiful trade right here so let's watch it Let's see what would have happened right here. We've already secured some profit right there. So even if the market takes us out, we're still going to be okay. And this was really, really a good trade. And it came at a very, very nice time after taking those about five losses in a row and three 
break even trades right so it's that's how trading is you can take three four loves losses in a row but unfortunately our our mind was never meant to handle losses right when, when, whenever you take a loss your brain your mind is straightened and people don't react properly to losses unfortunately and for you to become a consistently profitable trader guess what you need to be a become a good loser you need to be good at taking losses so that you avoid uh reacting when losses come because the losses are inevitable like there's no way for us to know in advance when they're going to come and as a trader if you can master that you're going to be good you're going to be good because guess what you won't be shaken whenever you're taking losses you won't be shaken because you expect them to, to come and when they come you're going to be cool calm and collected right so this is a very very good uh good trade and i think this video has actually taken time this is going to be our last trade if it goes to take profit that'll be really really good and uh yeah so let's see if it continues to go down if it does that'll be really really cool and uh yeah so you can imagine how difficult it is or it was going to be if you were the one trading right here taking those five losses and a lot of break-even trades it's it can be it's very hard to deal with psychologically it's very very hard right so we keep moving our stoppers behind structure we see the market consolidating right here so let's see what's going to happen right now if we are taken out it's good if it price reaches our take profit well and good and you can see that this is a beautiful trade and now the market has reached our take profit and i mean what a nice way to actually finish this back testing session this was beautiful I like this i like how raw this was it showed us everything it showed us how easy it is to take losses in a row and it just shows you that if you continue to do the right thing if you continue to execute your strategy whenever it appears that winning trade is just around the corner that winning trade is just around the corner but guess what you don't know when it's going to come you have no idea when it's going to come. So the key is to be able to read price, execute your strategy flawlessly, and keep on taking the trade that's going to come because you have no idea when that winning trade is going to come. All right. And I'm happy we had those strings of losses. And then we had that big, beautiful trade that turned out to be a winner. And this is absolutely amazing. Now let's go to the stats. Let's go to our statistics right here. And now let's see how we performed right here. So, yeah let's see what happened here so if you actually go here uh we we'll go here okay uh where is that so let's try and enlarge this let's try and enlarge this so i'm not able to see here okay good so we can see all the statistics right here so we can see that we took how many trades we took nine trades in total right we took nine trades in total so according to, according to them we took uh four profitable trades and five losses right so but you know that out of these four trades which were profitable three were low we three were actually break even trades then five were losses right five loss five losses four three break even trades in one winning trade a lot of people can't can't do that why because they are going to be affected emotionally and they will not be consistent now look at this right uh let me show you something let me show you something so the maximum loss maximum loss was 250 that was 0.5 percent and look at the winning trade the winning trade was two thousand eight hundred dollars it's almost like three thousand dollars and our maximum risk was this right look i like this look we took we lost more trades than we won we are still profitable look we are still net $1,673 we lost more trades but we are still profitable that's the power of risk reward ratio that's one thing I love about our risk reward ratio you can see that our win rate is like 44% but we are still profitable this is the thing I love about our strategy we can take losses but when that winning trade comes along it clears all those losses so if, if you can see right here if you come below here if you come below here you can see that we took this the first one was a loss the third trade was a loss second trade was a loss a third trade was a loss and uh 
you can see here the first trade we lost 250 US dollars then second trade 247 third trade 248 right and then we had a break even trade break even trade right two break even trades and then followed by another loss and another loss and all this time we're just respecting our risk management and the third trade goes in profit and gives us more than five times our risk let me just calculate this right so uh if we say 2900 right here divide by our average risk our risk so this is a 1 to 11 risk to reward ratio trade that was a 1 to 11 risk to reward ratio trade and it gave out it it, it cleared all the losses and still gave us about three thousand dollars in profit i mean about one thousand six hundred dollars in profit right here even after taking five losses in a row and three break-even trades that's absolutely amazing and that is why you need to become a good loser if you want to make it in this industry you see as long as you have a trust in your strategy you'll be able to take those losses as they come because you understand that that winning good trade is going to come and that's why i love our, i love trading and that's how i love our strategy all right i really hope you found some value in this video and if you want to use this software that i'm using right now the first link in the description gives you access to this link right here and you get 40 percent if you use the discount code in the on the screen right now so check it out make sure you do everything back test your strategy and make sure you have the confidence to be able to execute your strategy flawlessly i hope you find value until next time goodbye